Hello and welcome to Let's Try. Uh, we're trying Tin Can. This is a game I've had my eyes on for a while. It's in early access just to get that out of the way. And yeah, there are gonna be problems. Is Or maybe there won't, you know, sometimes these early access games go really well. Um, but I, I immediately really liked the look and feel of this one um, from what I saw in the trailer, from what they're trying to go for. Um, I won't talk too much about what it is just yet. We're gonna we're gonna go in blind in just a sec. We could do this tutorial. You know what? Let's do the tutorial. Um, maybe that'll give us a good idea of what kind of game this is. Um, you're gonna consider this. You can consider this the space season for the big simple channel. Um, seems like I'm playing a lot of space themed games these days. Um, and there's more to come. I promise. There's gonna be a lot of space games. <laughs> I really like space as a as a vehicle for um, genres games. Um, you know, science fiction is is one of my one of something I I, I care about, and uh, I really like this idea, this game's um, concept. So let's have a look. Welcome, Larry. As part of your training to become a certified technician, it is time for you to perform a maintenance on this Medusa Class Three space raft. Press E to continue. This is the sec O2 generator. Is it? What is? This is? This is. Uh, it pumps O2 into the air depending on your needs from an oxygen bottle located inside at a pressure of one bar. The ideal level of oxygen is 20%. So I am going to spoil things a little bit. Basically, this game is kind of a survival game meets um, computer building simulator. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically you are maintaining and taking care of your very tiny spacecraft and hopefully ensuring your own survival uh, as long as possible. At the pressure of one bar, the ideal level of oxygen is 20%. Press E to continue. It absorbs the CO2 you exhale and stores it into a bottle located inside at the pressure of one bar. It is important not to let the carbon dioxide go above 6%. Okay. This is the pressure regulator. It maintains an atmosphere. Oh, this is, okay, 0.5%. Okay, that's good. Aha, I see, I see. These are all different modules here. I understand. It maintains an atmospheric pressure of one bar above aboard the pod, just like on Earth, by pumping nitrogen in and out of the air, storing it in a bottle located inside. Ooh. This game's got some really interesting sound effects. Ouch. There's a problem with the CO2 scrubber. Um, is that this one? Yes, it is. We will have to do a technical diagnosis. Let's try to turn it back on first. Okay. Oh, that took the button right off, huh? Okay. The fuse is dead and is shorting the system. The fuse ser serves as a protection against power surges. The system can work without it, thanks to a secondary circuit, but not without risks. Open the system drawer with the F key, remove the fuse, and then restart the system. Okay. Then we have our air filter, our bottle. I love, uh, I actually really like the graphics on this game. They've gone to, uh, the, I don't know if it's a big team, but they've gone to quite a lot of trouble to make every little part um, kind of shine and, and, you know, give it some spit polish. Uh, and some detail. So there's our fuse. Um, let's click it. So we click to remove. Uh, open the system drawer with the F key. Remove the fuse and then restart the system. Um, okay. Well, we removed the fuse. Does it not need that? There is another problem. With the CO2 scrubber, press F while looking at the monitor of the system to display its error list. Low pump full can. Well, that's a lot of errors. Don't panic. Um, take a good look at them. The CO2 bottle is full and the system therefore can't absorb any more CO2. Uh, you need to replace it with an empty bottle before getting CO2 poisoning. Press E to continue. Over time, the carbon dioxide bottle fills up and the oxygen bottle depletes. While we're at it, let's also fo uh, swap the empty oxygen bottle for a new one. Grab both bottles, one in each hand, left and right click respectively. Okay, I'll just put this on them floor where is our bottles well let's let's start by opening this up and we'll go ahead and grab the co2 bottle 
close that up again. Well, actually, we'll leave it open, and that way we'll know. Ooh, ooh. but things are are uh, dinging. Well, now where where are our spare bottles? Where would one? Um, oh, there there it is. Grab that. Grab that. <laughs> they really do take up your entire space. Ooh, they have physics too in your hand. Um, so that's, that's the empty one. We'll go ahead and replace it with a new one. We'll close that. Grab this. Slot it in. Well done. While we're at it, let's clean the air filters inside the CO2 and pressure systems by blowing on them with F. Ha. Huh, okay. And we'll close that up. Oh. We have to, we do have to blow on more things. Um... Air filters and oh, and pressure systems. So we blew on that. Let's blow on the filter in the pressure generator. There we go. The repair station allows you to repair uh, or dismantle components. You simply have to place them inside. Dismantling a component will allow you to salvage spare parts that you can fix, use to fix a different component. To fix the fuse, we are going to need some spare parts. You have to decide what is worth sacrificing. For example, you can dismantle components from the emergency lights panel. Make sure to turn it off first. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, we can salvage the emergency lights panel. Um, is that what this is? Do not open while in operation. Well, I did it. I opened it. Repair station. Oh, I see. It's not in operation just yet. So we could throw that in there. Required parts 40. Okay, here are the emergency lights. Ooh, man, the sound effects are like both very good and also very kind of like shocking. Um... Power transformation, large battery. Make sure to turn it off first. Take a component to sacrifice and place it in the repair station. I guess we could take the fuse, as long as we're repairing a fuse. Um, hmm. I guess what we want to do, actually, let's grab that out. We'll take this. We'll pick that up. Put that in there. That's a, the fuse we're salvaging. Um... How many spare parts are needed to fix? No, no repair needed, but we're gonna dismantle it. Dismantle enough components to get the required amount of parts for the repair of the fuse and fix it. Can we dismantle it more? Looks like no. Wait, there's still a fuse in there. Oh, uh, I guess we hit the start button. Whoops, no. Need parts. Well, maybe that's done. So we'll put that in there. Drop that for now. So current parts, required parts. We need 40 parts. So we need to sacrifice something else as well. Let's uh, go ahead and throw the battery in there as well. Dismantle. Perfect. So now we'll drop that. Throw that in there. Repair. That's doing its thing. So uh, maybe, is there a way we can like organize things a little bit? Like these are dead parts. I don't know if like maybe you can do anything more with them. I guess I could repair them on a later day. Um, oh, maybe we should like, should we be putting this back so that can charge some more? I'm not sure what the deal is. This is a full CO2 bottle. Can we do stuff with it? Oh, CO2 cycling station. Hmm. Not sure what this does yet, but that's okay. I will learn. Uh, battery fast charger. What is this? Wait, what? Can we, can I use that to go up? Oh, you can like grab, huh, okay. 
Your fuse is now like new. Turn uh, the CO2 scrubber off, replace the fuse and turn it back on. Okay, let's grab that. Uh, turn the scrubber off, open it up and replace the fuse. No, nope. where is it? Is this the correct thing? Uh, oh, there it goes. And then turn it back on. Oh, wrong button. Whoops. There are the buttons are actually well managed in this game. I like that you have a left and a right hand. Um, but oh wait a minute, we still have a problem. Oops! It seems the CO2 or sorry the O2 generator is having some issues. Go back to the life support systems and check the error codes. Go ahead and close that. Go ahead and close that. I'm assuming it's me. It means this. Mouse scroll. Um, can we press the button to get the page? Nope. Uh, we need the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide scrubber. So that's page ten. Okay. Uh, takes carbon dioxide bars on the maximum levels of CO two. Nope. No, that's not giving me error codes. Maybe there's a page for error codes. Um, buzzer, data collector. Doesn't look like it. This doesn't look like it's, it is what, it, what I need. Go back to the life support systems and check the error codes. Oh, I see. I, I literally need to just check it. Okay. NA82. What a mess. Error codes are encrypted. The main computer is the one supposed to decrypt them. It must be offline. Go and check what is wrong with it. The main computer. Okay, so we have to find our main computer now. There's a lot of stuff going on in this uh, very tiny room. So we have our main lights, emergency lights, leak filter, out of order, service drawer, service drawer power for maintenance. We'll fix it all for a P 5 p.m. inspection. There's our CO2 to O2 cycling station. Battery fast charger. I wonder if I like throw this battery in there, if that'll do anything. I feel like that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> this is the kind of game where mistakes can be made. Um, our computer seems to be off. Something is clearly wrong with it, uh, that thing, but there is no time left to fix it. We need to take care of the O2 generator first. Your pod manual contains the translation of all error codes. Does it? Find it? No. I mean, I just looked in there. There it is. Use your manual to translate error codes and find out what is wrong with your, your O2 generator. Fix it. Bring the atmospheric values back to normal. Uh, okay. Oh, error codes. It was right here. Table of contents. Okay, so um, oxygen generator, NA82. Uh, a little bit of um, keep talking and nobody explodes going on here. Low pump, full bottle, low bo Oh, wait a minute. And I think that's saying... Oh, God. Oh, God. Master warning. Low pump. What does that mean, low pump? Pump. Uh, you're, you're very loud. Okay. Master caution. Shh, stop. Stop it. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Just turn it off. There we go. The warning is gone, and therefore the problem is solved. That's how I solve all my problems. Um, okay, so NA82 uh, says too high O2. Low pump. I, the, the way it's laid this out is a little bit confusing, I won't lie. Um, but it says low pump is slash ABT6. I'm not sure what low pump means. Um, okay, let's bring this back. Let's, let's put this back in there. 
the, the levels of our oxygen is fine. Oh, uh, I am I'm currently dying. Uh, it might be that it's actually our CO2 that's going on. AR... AR-22 is actually what we want. Dirty filter. Okay, two... Main computer offline. We're still having a problem, sorry. Uh, 017H. I, I, that buzzing is really annoying for me. 012H. Uh, we're losing vision. We're losing vision. Uh, 017H. That's it. NA82. And then there's NA82. Low pump. Um, something wrong with your O2 oxygen. I need to fix the pump. Maybe it's actually broken. So let's uh, let's see if we can fix it. Yes, it is actually broken. So we need to fix it. Uh, let's go ahead and sacrifice some more parts from this thing. I think I should be able to make it if I'm very quick about this. Repair in progress. Well, I'm losing vision fast. <laughs> oh, man. I do kind of want to do a series on this game, but uh, you guys let me know. <laughs> I don't know. This is... Uh, I don't know if this has, like, much roguelike qualities. But we'll see. This is actually the kind of game I would really like to play in uh, VR. Which I could potentially do if, if it has a VR function. I notice it has a mul maybe planned multiplayer. Okay, we're, we're dying. Come on. Come on, faster. You need to be faster. You can do it, dude. Don't worry. It's still broken. 017H. Pod too low oxygen. Well, I know that. Oh, oh, is it maybe fixing it? Congrats, you have survived the tutorial. You'll know the basics of what you need to survive out there, but be careful. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. But be careful, you still have a lot to learn about the pod. The manual contains all the information you might need. For the rest, you'll have to be smart and think outside the box. Good luck. Well, that was terrifying, honestly. This is our main generator. Let's have a look around before I, I quit right away. Um, can we open this? Atomic shield. Can we open this? <laughs> Listen, I, I know fully how dumb that is. Oh, that, there's our power. Master warning. Hmm. I assume that that's good. Everything is nominal <laughs> in that regard. Um, it is space out there. It do be space. Let's have a look at the space. Dang. So I think the story is that uh, your your the, the place you normally dwell, uh, like your space station, has uh, been you know something goes wrong. It's destroyed, and uh, you get into the escape pod, and that's what you're in, and you just have to make it work um, and survive at all costs. For as long as possible or until you're rescued. Can we open this? 
Doesn't look like we can. To unlock. Safety lock. Pull to release. And it doesn't seem to want to. That's okay. It might be that that's not actually built into the game yet. What was wrong with our computer? I never did figure that one out, did we? Why don't we try and figure that one out and then I'll end this Let's Try series. Um, and you guys can let me know if you maybe want to uh, see more of this game. Large processor, data connector, power components. Maybe something is dead. Maybe the battery is dead. Fuse. Let's have a look at the battery. Maybe that's dead. I mean, I assume the green light means it's okay. Um, I I mean, I hope that I'm I'm not meant to like like put these things in one at a time to check if they're okay because uh, there's a lot of components i i'm i'm hoping there's a better way of di diagnosing things large processor okay that's fine that's fine i mean i guess it's not that big of a problem data connector is there anything else we can pull out of this thing? Hold click to grab. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong thing. Let's just check this thing real quick. No repair needed. So I wonder what's wrong with the main computer. I wonder if that is maybe a scripted event and I'm not meant to fix it. But you know, I like to, I like to see what's up. Aha, it's the power connector. Problem with the uh, main computer dying is it can't tell me uh, what's wrong. So we need to sacrifice some more parts. We're running out of stuff in here that we can uh, destroy. That doesn't seem to give us any parts. Okay, we can repair this now. And uh, that's pretty much it for this, the emergency lights. I think I've salvaged everything in it. I wonder if there's a way to get parts without just like sacrificing something. I would like to, I would like to find out if maybe that's the case because like, it seems like just sacrificing something is like kind of spooky is there not a way to get parts over time maybe i don't know Ooh, that's a sound okay this should be good to go now yeah main computer offline we got a bunch of error messages i mean i'm, I'm learning so you know this is the tutorial let's go ahead and check these error messages maybe they're okay low battery damn bat damaged battery um, I'm wondering if maybe, like, where is that? Is that error list? Is the error list for this or is it for something else? Let's uh, try charging the battery. I don't know how long it takes to charge the battery. Oh, <laughs> I, the, the tutorial literally just end, ended. I think that maybe I pressed the wrong button. Anyway, um, that's Tin Can. I'm, uh, I'm definitely interested in doing a series, um, but y'all let me know if this is something you'd like to see more of, and, uh, and then I can, I can make that happen. I have more space games um, I wanna do Let's Try series on, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you, what you think. 
uh, and I am trying like bringing trying to bring more broad content to the channel uh, while also trying to maintain like you know the the, the mainstay roguelike series. There is more Caves of Cud on the way, I promise. Um, in fact, I have some interesting plans I think that you will interest you, that will be exciting to, to a lot of you uh, Caves of Cud fans. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you're new to my content. And hit me with a comment. Would you like to see more tin cans? I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.